Hi, this is Shadi. Today I'm making this video because I love judo and to me it will always be the best martial art and I'm doing it because I love judo and the way the direction it is going for me I am not happy with it. All we talk about is the rules. Every five minutes there's a different rule set and everyone is complaining. It's been decades now and it is still going on and I don't think it's gonna stop anytime uh, soon. Even if you go to Japan, you would see that people are unhappy with the direction that it is going. And today I'm going to talk about it. So, judo, it should be known to everyone that it is about defending attacks according to the founder and also throw with absolute precision. Yes, there is the ground aspect, but when it comes to the stand-up, which is judo known for, it is about throwing someone with speed power and landing them flat on their back with full control to the point where there is no doubt the critic or the uh, criteria for a throw back in the day was much better in my opinion and now there is this problem where a lot of people are strategizing their wins around making someone look bad and not actually really dominating them and throwing them and it's usually the non-japanese that do this for example let me show you this highlight i did not edit this by the way this is an ijf video showing someone how they reached the bronze medal so here they win the by uh penalties here by a very underwhelming throw and then the quarterfinal is won again by penalties this is not the first time she does this. All she does is grip in a way. You watch her. It looks like she's doing absolutely nothing. Here, this is not a throw, by the way. And somehow their opponents are racking up penalties and then she wins. It's really pitiful. Imagine going up to Kimura or Mifune 80, 90 years ago and telling them, hey, you know, grip this way. It will make them look passive and then the referee will give you the win he will look at you like you have three heads. All this generation, even the Japanese today, they just want to grip and throw without any shadow of a doubt and show that they are the best. And again, it's about fighting. You want to play games, please go play tennis or any other sport. But these sort of things that gripping in a way without actually attacking and making someone look passive or whatever, it's not fighting. The goal is to fight and throw with precision and impact and dominance. The next one is head dives. Now, this has been discussed for years, saying it's dangerous, especially with the legendary Ono. They made a rule on this, and it's now uh, a direct elimination. But seeing what's going on now, I think it's better discussed in a way that no two head dives are the same. I think uh, whether the feet are touching both of them or one or none uh, and also the position of the spine like for example here it's just a full jump a spine perpendicular to the mat and landing on the top of the head for sure this is dangerous but now if someone's forehead grazed the ground or their cheek they are being eliminated in my opinion unfairly and again all we talk about is the rules now when it comes to throwing like i said an ippon is about power speed and landing someone flat on their back wasari is if it's missing one of those elements but still you can see someone being thrown and that's the problem with a lot of the people that are scoring today they are not throwing someone they're either turning them over or Land, uh, putting their shoulders on the mat and people are considering it a throw now if you want to bring back yuko it's you know having one of those elements now check this out here he goes down the action is stopped and then he he kind of like tries to put him on his shoulders and he gets a score you can clearly see the action is stopped and then he forces him on the ground now Tucking someone in bed is not a throw. If someone is in a low position and you throw them, this is how it should look like. You can clearly see that person was thrown even though they were in a low position on their knees. Uh, what you just saw is nothing 
it's a turnover, you want to go to the ground with it, that's fine, but it's not a throw. Also, continuing someone's impact here, you can see even if you go down with them to the ground, you can still see that they are 100% thrown. Whenever you see these types of cases, look at the guy who is supposedly thrown and see where they rolled over or no. Because we went from this, which is beautiful, sublime, and just insane amount of skill needed, and of course the leg grabs, to this. You know, tucking someone in bed and considering it a throw. I'm terribly sorry, but this is just awful. And finally, the whole controversy with Teddy Rene. Just look at Rene. I don't want to look at the Russian guy for the moment. He was simply rolled over. I don't know why everyone forgot the new rules, but this no longer scores. He was not thrown. He was rolled over. And also, just look at the Russian guy. He gets squished under him. Does he look like someone who dominated the throw and, you know, fought someone and on the battlefield they would have died? Absolutely not. A roll is not a throw. Please stop saying the Russian guy got robbed. Even Neil Adams, for some reason, forgot the new rules and said, for me, that's a score. It's not. It's a roll over. You want to go to Newaza through these actions, weak actions, I should say, be my guest. Go ahead. But these are not throws. And finally, the Olympics. The whole thing with the rules is because of the Olympics. And let me make myself very clear. It's the Olympics that needs judo, not the other way around. Let me tell you something. Does any of you know or care that Neymar Jr. and Lionel Messi have an, an Olympic gold medal in soccer or football? No. Why? Because they have their own prestigious competitions that make the Olympics look something very just underwhelming. And judo should have the same. In the past, let me tell you, in the past, the world championship was every couple of years. It was highly anticipated and it was something that everyone waited for without any patience. Now it's every few months. The last one was in October or November and now it's May and we have another world championship. What's next? Next year, you're going to have one in December and then the second one in January. It lost its value when you do it every few months. It should have a particular season, maybe every couple of years. And then people would wait for it. Also, the Grand Slams and the Grand Prix, same thing. You also should have uh, maybe like the Ballon d'Or, where every year you, you have the, the statistics of judokas and they would be given a prestigious prize. And that way you will, I don't know, encourage people to compete more because, you know, you have superstars that only show up once a year. Personally, they should be a lot more. Uh, but again, just like soccer or football, you have the uh, World Cup, you have the Euro Cup, uh, Champions League, all these prestigious titles and competitions that are so exciting that makes the look that makes the Olympics look like something that's sub-average, and that's what judo needs. Stop chasing the Olympics. It's the Olympics that need judo, not the other way around. IOC should stop shaping judo i don't understand why they are letting it happen and it's not for good it judo is not looking any better with this personally go watch competitions from 20 years ago 30 years ago and then judge them with today's competitions sure today you're gonna see a lot of beast throws and transitions that's fine but we're not looking at competitions from 30 years ago and saying oh my god that was so like primitive and uh, nothing compared to today's judo no in fact we're saying wow this is actually better so we know we're doing something wrong so the whole thing with the olympics is really ridiculous but this is me because i love judo and i don't want to see it go this, this direction that it's going so if you have anything to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening